In the previous video, you learned to find the numbers, equals, and operations keys. In this one, we'll find keys that let us do a little more sophisticated arithmetic. The decimal, the negative symbol, and parentheses. First, let's locate the decimal and the negative symbol. Turn your calculator on and enter help mode by pressing the second function key three times. Press the second function key three times to enter help mode. Save, save in help mode. Press the key three times to get place in help mode. Save and done. The decimal key is on the bottom row of the numpad, just to the right of the zero. Press it, and you'll hear decimal point symbol. Decimal point symbol. The negative symbol. The key immediately to the right of the decimal is the negative symbol. This key lets you turn a positive number into a negative one. To make a number negative, press the negative symbol before you enter the number. Let's hear it. Negative symbol. Find them once more. Press zero, zero. decimal, decimal point symbol. negative. Negative symbol. Now let's exit help mode and put these keys to work. Second function key three times. Alright. Let's enter the number 1.2. Press 1, one. press the decimal, point. and press the two. 2. Did you notice that when you are out of help mode, your calculator just says point for the decimal, not decimal point symbol? Now press enter. One point two. You hear the number we entered, 1.2. Enter this problem, 4.5. 4.5 4. plus 7.8 plus 7.8. 7. Now, press enter and see if you hear 12.3. 12 12 How about negative numbers? Let's enter negative 3. Enter the negative symbol. You'll always do the negative symbol before the number you want to be negative. Minus. Now press 3. 3. And press enter to hear it. Minus 3. Did you notice that your calculator says minus instead of negative? Let's do a problem. Enter these keys in this order. Negative 5 times 9 equals negative minus 5 one. times nine. 9 and press enter. Minus 45. Did you get minus 45? Honestly, I wish the calculator said negative 45 rather than minus 45. Here is a caution. When you are not in help mode, the calculator calls the negative symbol key minus. But it also calls the subtraction key minus. That's two different keys, but they are both announced as minus. The negative symbol key and the minus symbol key are not interchangeable, but they are announced the same. Let me show you what I mean. Suppose I want to subtract 5 minus 2. I press 5, one. then the subtraction key in the far right column, minus. and then two. 2. When I press enter, I hear 3, the answer. Three. I am now going to show you what happens if I use the negative symbol instead of the subtraction key but I do not recommend that you imitate this action. Just listen to it. Five, Five. minus, but I am pressing the negative symbol rather than the subtraction key. Minus. And now two. two. 
Now, the calculator said exactly the same thing, 5 minus 2. But when I press enter, syntax error, quit. I hear syntax error, quit. Wow, I certainly don't want a syntax error, so yes, I'm going to quit. If you need to subtract, use the subtraction key in the far right column with the other operations. If you need to make a number negative, use the negative symbol key on the bottom row of keys. Now let's do a problem using both the decimal and the negative symbol key. How about 5 times negative 8.3? 5. five. Multiplication symbol. Times. Negative symbol. Minus. Now 8.3. 8. 8. 8. Point point three. Three. All right. Press equals. Minus 41.5. You hear the product. Minus 41.5. Okay. Here is a fun problem. We're going to subtract 4 minus a negative 2. Now, do you know that subtracting a negative number is the same as adding it? 4 minus a negative 2 ought to give us 6. Let's see. 4, Four. minus, and use the subtraction, minus. minus. Now enter negative 2 by using the negative symbol minus. and a 2. two. Press enter. Six. We did get six. Very good. Now let's find the parentheses. First, enter help mode. The open parenthesis is located just above the number eight key. Find that and press it. Did you understand that your calculator said open paren for open parentheses? The close parentheses key is located just above the 9. Find that and press it. Close you heard close paren. <laughs> now, when you have found the open and close parentheses keys, exit help mode. All right. Now let's practice parentheses. Suppose we want to enter negative 10 in parentheses. Here's what you press. Open parentheses. Remember, that's above the 8. Now the negative symbol. And for 10, enter 1, 0. Now close your parentheses with close paren above the 9. If you press enter, you'll hear minus 10. Minus 10. The calculator does not read the parentheses to you. I think I wish it did. Let's do a problem where parentheses are really needed. If the problem I describe is beyond your current level of math, you can just ignore it. Suppose you are given a fraction with a numerator of 8 and a denominator of negative 2.3 plus 6.3. Do you know that fractions are just another way to write divided by? This fraction means 8, that's the numerator, divided by whatever you get if you add negative 2.3 and 6.3. However, if you enter 8 divided by negative 2.3 plus 6.3, your calculator will divide 8 by negative 2.3 first, and then it will add the 6.3. That's not what you want. We will use parentheses around the entire denominator, and then the calculator will know that it should add the numbers in the denominator before it divides. So here's what we enter. 8, Eight. 
divided by, divided by. open parentheses. Open now a minus 2.3. Plus, plus six point three. Six point three. Now close your parentheses. Close them. Were you able to do all of that? Press enter and you should hear two. two. Because two is the correct answer. Well, congratulations. At this point, you can do quite a lot of math with this scientific calculator. Students, I suggest that you take time to practice using the decimal, the negative symbol key, and the parentheses. But you can go on if you're feeling confident.